I recently went on a trip and I had to stay in some hotels. Along the way, they just happened to be chain hotels. And I'm finding that I really enjoy more and more staying in the mom and pop hotels. Not because the mom and pop hotels do anything special, but because the experience of staying in the hotel chains is so annoying at this point. In the past, I would just go to a hotel, make a reservation maybe, and, uh, and stay there, and that would be the end of it. But these days, when you stay in a hotel chain, you have to sign up in advance and give them your email address. And then after you're done, you have to get back off their friggin' email lists. And I say that in plural because there isn't one. There's the marketing one. There's the research one. There's the great deals we have coming up one. There's a half dozen of the friggin' things. So it becomes a chore after you stay in a chain hotel to have to get back off their lists. I think maybe they think they're selling more hotel rooms. Some of the th emails they send me are things like, hey, we'll offer you a great deal to stay in your in-town hotel. I have a perfectly good house here. Why would I want to come stay at your hotel? I mean, sure, there was a night that power transformer got knocked down in our backyard because a tree fell over. And we had trucks out there starting at about 10 o'clock at night. And it looked like they were going to be out there for several hours. So we went to a hotel. But that's not something I can exactly schedule to correspond with your great deal, can I? And I suppose if I had a blowout thing with my girlfriend, one of us could go to a hotel for the night. But again, we don't exactly plan that. It's not like I'm going to call my girlfriend and be like, hey, Holiday Inn is offering a great deal on the 28th. Can we have a big argument that day and you get pissed off and go to a hotel that night? That doesn't make any sense. So what do they think they're really selling? They're wasting my time and just irritating me. It's not just hotel chains either. I recently had a zipper on a jacket break and uh, I thought it's a decent jacket. Maybe I can get it repaired. And so I took it to the dry cleaners around the corner that does repairs. And so I signed in and gave them the jacket. And before I left the building, I had a text saying, hey, thank you for using our dry cleaner. And uh, we'll text you once we have uh, the repair complete. Great. But the text went on to tell me, hey, you should download and install our app. And there was a whole paragraph of stuff telling me I should install the app. Why? It's dry cleaning. All I want to know is it's done. You've already demonstrated by your ability to text message me that you can do this over text messaging. I don't need your app. I don't need another piece of crap on my phone taking up space, possibly snooping on me. And there probably aren't, but who knows? I have enough going on in my own life without introducing a new way for these various companies to harass me. I really just want to be left alone to peaceably enjoy my life. If I was to sum it up briefly, don't call me, I'll call you. The rest is just leave me alone. For the sake of the dry cleaner, I suppose they have an app that's convenient for them to use because uh, they can track orders and you know track the status of all the stuff they're working on. Great, but that app clearly can text me, so there's no reason I need a fancy app installed on my phone. So why does the dry cleaner want me to have this? Well, I don't really think they care whether or not I, I have the app. But there's a certain sort of person who thinks, well, I could go to that dry cleaner, or I could go to the one with the app. The one with the app must be better. Why? Why, why is the dry cleaner with the app better than the other dry cleaner that just texts you when it's done? I, I don't understand. And yet I acknowledge there is a certain sort of person with this mentality uh, that any business that has an app must be more legitimate than a business that doesn't have an app. I think at this moment in time, we're at a juncture where a lot of people do want the app, and I don't understand why, but businesses see that and they want to provide the app to make people happy. 
But the catch is, there's a certain group of us that really don't want the app. We don't want it shoved down our throat. And by trying to, you only make us suspicious, paranoid, or just angry. Because we don't want it. Leave us the hell alone. Perhaps we're just a market that they don't care about. Maybe the fact that we don't want the app means we're not the type of person that goes out and spends money constantly. And so, you know, who cares if you piss us off because we're a bunch of spendthrifts. A uh, bunch of tightwads. And then there's companies like CVS. A few years ago, when COVID was wrapping up, there was an opportunity through CVS to get a vaccine. And vaccines were in short supply. So you had to sign up and get a date at which point you could go over and get your vaccination. And so I did. I got on their website and I went through the process of putting in my insurance information, who I was, my medical history, all the crap I needed to put in so that I could have the vaccination. And the last step was to click a button to say, I consent to receive CVS junk email. Thanks, CVS. I really didn't want to consent, but at the same time, I already spent 10, 15 minutes putting all this junk in. Vaccinations were in short supply. So I'd gotten this far. I knew there was an opportunity for one. So I agreed. And I spent the next month trying to get off of all of CVS's junk mail lists. It's coercion, isn't it? If somebody did that to me on a date, I'd consider them an absolute scumbag. And you know what? I consider CVS a bunch of scumbags for doing that. They could have put the choice up front, put your information in, and you know, if your computer packs it in or you just the internet goes down while you're doing it, when you come back, we'll just restore from where you were. Hey, that would have been kind of a cool feature if you didn't spam me. But they didn't do that. They waited until I was at the point where it was like, I don't want the junk mail. I'd lose 15 minutes of work. It's really kind of disrespectful to people, isn't it? Kind of. It's very disrespectful. I mean, look at Amazon. I've done business with Amazon for 20 years. How many just out of the blue emails have I gotten from them? Maybe a dozen. Amazon doesn't harass me. You can complain about the enchantification of their website, but they still don't spam me in email. Sure, I get receipts and I get notifications things are shipping, but those are different. Those are actually important to me. I want to know what's going on with the stuff I order. I don't want to know you're having a great fire sale or I can say get 50% off a of prime or whatever stupid shit they're offering this week. I can see that if I want to go to the website, but the rest of the time, Amazon leaves me alone. And when I order off Amazon, I don't end up on those lists again. I imagine they've got them. I don't want them. And they respect that I've chosen to get off those lists. Why can't the hotel chains? Why do every time I go to a hotel chain that I've been to before and unsubscribed from their lists previously, why do I end up back on their hotel chain email lists? Because they disrespect me. They don't care about me. And I think there's a lot of this going on as the internet evolved. Back 20 years ago, when this e-commerce stuff start, started, you just <laughs> you just ordered through a primitive little interface on their website, and you got some stuff in the mail, and you were happy. And then things evolved, and when during the checkout process, there was a button you could click that would uh, subscribe to great deals that they would announce. But it was an opt-in. A few years later, that changed to a default checked subscribe to the list thing, and you had to make sure that you turned it off. And now we're up to the point where you go through a reservation process on a hotel website. There is no ch option to not get the spam. You will end up on their list. The only thing you can do if you want to stay in that hotel and, well, that's the place that's where you're going, so that's where you're going to stay. And they're all doing it, so it's unless you can find a mom and pop place, you really can't escape it. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. You're going to end up on their email list. There's no excuse. 
I can order repeatedly off Amazon, I don't end up on their list. It's not just Amazon. I go to the Ace Hardware around the store. I know they have junk mail lists. I buy stuff there. When I buy stuff, do I end up on their email junk list? No. They respect me. And it's not like there's just one list anymore. They've now got a half dozen lists. So you unsubscribe and then a couple days later you get more and you're like, didn't I unsubscribe? Uh, that was a marketing list. This is a great deals list. They automatically subscribe you to a half dozen lists so that they can keep spamming you. Why would you do this? All you're doing is pissing me off. You're making me feel bad about the relationship with your company. You're giving yourself a bad reputation in my eyes. Make it easy. Make it a one option to unsubscribe and leave me the hell alone. And when I stay at your hotel or I buy something from your website, if you have a prior relationship and I unsubscribed from that, then don't put me back on the list. There is no good reason to do that other than you think it's going to improve your bottom line. And in fact, it won't. You're just going to piss me off and I'm going to go to an alternative supplier. I really appreciate being left alone and I'm not going to be abused if I don't have to be. So my advice to you is next time you need to stay in a hotel. If you can avoid it, don't stay in the chains. They're not going to respect you. They're going to disrespect your privacy, your right to quietly enjoy your life. And instead, they're going to spam the crap out of your email. It's disrespectful to you. You're better than that. By going to a local mom and pop chain that you can find reviews for online to make sure that you're going to a good quality place, you're putting money into the local economy and it stays there. The people who run the hotel probably know their workers and do their best to make sure their workers are doing okay too. Unlike the hotel chains where it's a private equity firm or Wall Street bastards who can't wait to drive down wages as hard as they can to make an extra buck for the investors. Privately owned places are going to be better on a lot of things. There are definitely shitholes out there. Again, if you check the internet reviews, you can avoid those. But I suggest we shouldn't go along with the abusive disrespect that the big chains have for our privacy, for our quiet enjoyment of our life. If we just keep staying there, we are complicit in the abuse they give us. Do unsubscribe from the list and maybe come write a letter of complaint telling them you don't appreciate getting their junk every time you stay at their hotel and having to unsubscribe over and over again. It's important we push back on this because the problem is getting worse. Intuit this year is doing similar stuff to the whole shell chains. When you first install TurboTax, they want to know everything about you. And then they sign you up to share your phone number, your email address, and your mailing address. I don't want anybody to have that stuff. I don't want to be bothered. And after I created my Intuit account that I've never needed for prior years, they automatically subscribed me to all of those. I had to individually from each one go in, say unsubscribed. Yes, I lived in the United States. Unsubscribe from text. Unsubscribe from phone. Unsubscribe from email. Unsubscribe from snail mail. I'm sure they do it that way because when it's so difficult, most people won't make the effort. And that leaves them more addresses and contact information that for them to sell to other companies so that they can harass us. I am looking forward to never using their product again because I can use whatever tax software I want to use and it won't be theirs. Perhaps they think that they're making more money because they can sell a few more addresses, but how many of us not using their software are they losing? But hey, that's next year, not this quarter, isn't it? So let me say to Intuit, the big hotel chains, CDS, and the other people out there who just don't care about respecting their customers, we're going to take our business and our money elsewhere. I'm sure that 80% of people 
probably love the crap that you send them. But 20% of us don't. And when you make it so hard to get away from your bullshit, you really develop a sense of hatred for your company. You need to understand that there are both kinds of people out here, that we're not all a bunch of sheeple who just can't wait to suck your corporate cock and buy your product. Some of us really do want to be left alone. From time to time, we do need your product. And when it is, don't call us. We'll call you, because we need it. The rest of the time, we want to be left alone. And if you're not going to leave us alone, we'll find somebody else who will.